homecoming night at Centennial. Everybody hydrating, the temperatures in the 90s. Whoops, that's a mistake. And that's a safety for St. Michael in the first quarter to make it 2 nothing. A little bit later, first quarter, Marcus Krupka to Zach Shaleen. 42-yard gain on the pass play. Great catch. First quarter, St. Michael Albertville already up to a 2-0 lead after a safety. Marcus Krupka airs it out. Great catch all the way down to the four. Two plays later, he's got another pass. This one complete to Deshaun Phillips. And Phillips has got the pylon for the touchdown. 9-0 St. Michael Albertville. Play fake. Deshaun Phillips will score on the touchdown pass. 9-0 St. Michael. Remember, this is their first year in 6A. Krupka to Xavier Thurman. This is in the second quarter, a 29-yard strike. A few plays later, Davis Mosing would score from four yards out, and St. Michael Albertville led 16 to nothing at halftime. Third quarter, defense goes uh, for Centennial. Then again, just before the half, another nice drive ends with a touchdown from Mitchell Cardis. He gets around the edge. It's 16-0 Knights at the break. Krupke on this play, a four-yard uh, loss off the scramble. Can't find anybody open. Good defense there. But Centennial not able to turn it into offensive points. Ryan Coop, nice pass here, but it's picked off. Great interception by Xavier Thurman. Third quarter, more from the Knights. Just as it looks like Centennial might get something going, Xavier Thurman picks off the pass. A little bit later, Matt Feldick. This is a spin move. Knight right there, 11 yards, and then that set up Feldick from 15 yards out. This touchdown would cap the drive, and St. Michael was up 23 to nothing. Now it was up to their defense. Centennial trying to dig out of the hole. Ryan Coop keeps it for himself, pulls the ball down, takes off on the run, first down and more. But the Knights defense wouldn't quit. Great block on the pass by Xavier Thurman, right here, knocking it down. And then fourth quarter, Coop can't keep a hold of the snap, it's recovered. It's all Knights tonight. They win, they're four and zero. 23 to nothing was the final St. Michael Albertville. I'm proud of our kids. This is a 3-0 team. It was a road game. Three of our first four have been on the road, and you know we've lined four of them up, and we've won four of them. So hopefully we can stay healthy and, and keep this thing rolling. And I wouldn't say I'm necessarily surprised. I thought we, we did some good things up front on the offense and defensive lines. And you know, high school football, when you can do that, you're, you're usually going to be able to find a way to win. You know, I don't think it will hit me until tonight when I roll into bed and watch a little bit of film. But um, no, they're a great team, and I mean, um, they fought hard, but I mean, I'm glad we came out on top. It just shows our competitiveness. I mean, we're going to come out and uh, compete with anybody in the state. I mean, uh, I, I mean, I give it all the credit to our defense, all the credit to my line. I mean, we're we're all well-rounded team, and I mean, we're gonna we're gonna compete with anyone in the state. The legendary Dave Nelson still roams the sidelines for Minnetonka High School. His second-ranked skippers were at Prior Lake tonight, so the Lakers came out running, trying to set the tone. But a fumble here by Jordan Johnson, who kind of put an end to that uh, game plan. How about that? That's Raheem Brown with recovery. That would set up the score. You'll see Adam Livingston here. He's the skipper's big fullback. And boy, he gets low, puts the pads down, and gets the call. Livingston had three TDs on the night as the skippers jumped out to a 20-0 lead and then cruised the rest of the way. They are now 4-0 and at Lakeville South next week. Minnetonka 27, Prior Lake. Eight. How about Eden Prairie Wyzetta? Nice play fake by Cole Kramer, Jack Tuttle. Nice gain sets up Antonio Montero, the big linebacker, two yard run, six nothing EP. Solo, Falonico will take it five yards out to make it 13 to nothing. And then Kramer will find the tight end, Will Sather. It's all Eden Prairie tonight, 41 to seven over Wyzetta. Speaking of Lakeville South, look who choppered in on a helicopter, then took the old golf cart for the Cougars game. That's Gover coach P.J. Fleck in uniform to complete the package. Oh, wow, what a sight. Fifth rank North led 28-0 at the half, then simply let the Panther defense take over. Ian Moss tailored with the sack on Cougars quarterback George Brecht. A little later, it's Thomas Jensen with the interception. Plays like that kept the victory mm. in the bag during the scoreless second half as Lakeville North wins 28-0 to improve to 3-1 with a road game at YZ. Up next, 28-0.
the final. They're on South's 10. Brennan Keebler zips a pass to Raja Nelson. He slips a tackle and into the end zone. He goes. 7 0 Panthers. The Cougars backed up on their own five. Braden Walsh comes in untouched off the end and nails South quarterback George Brecky in the end zone for what appears to be a safety. The Zebras say otherwise and spot the ball at the one. Huge break for the Cougars. Or was it? Next. North possession, Keebler takes the snap and takes off. A huge hole in the middle of the field for the junior quarterback. He shoves aside one defender and outraces three to the promised land for six. 14-0 Panthers. It goes worse for the Cougars. Call Graham Bell because Brecky just telegraphed his throw. Ben Woodbury goes the other way for a pick six and the trophy stays with North as they shut out South, 28-0. Christian Hurt with a sack of the end zone for a safety to cut the Eastridge lead to 10-2. Next drive, Max Sandin will take it in from five yards out. Two-point conversion tied the game at 10. But Eastridge would come up big with defense. Third down, Ryan Kim breaks up the pass, and Eastridge holds on to upset Roseville, 17-16 final. Blaine, Connor Melton to Byron Be uh, Bynum, scampers 12 yards to the Raiders nine, then Melton will finish the drive, takes it five yards, 28-14 Blaine. Zion Guerrera will score here for the Raiders, but it's too little, too late. 34-21, Blaine a winner tonight over Crete. And Edina winning tonight, Ryan Meyer to Anders Nelson. 66 yards, great catch and a cutback. And Edina wins to remain undefeated. 35-0 was the final. Them tonight, watch this. Kellen McKeague, direct snap. Six-yard TD run over Park. It's now 14-0. And then Tyler Cardella takes it nine yards for the score. 21-0 Eagles. How about this one? Kellen McKeague with his second interception of the game. And this one he will take to the house. 34 yards. I, I'm sorry. It will set up a touchdown that by Cardella as he nice return there. Cardella would score from seven yards out to make it 28-0. Apple Valley will get Chaska next Friday night. Both teams undefeated. 42-21 was the final. 0-3 coming in. Drew Pearson from Ryan Christensen. 30-yard bomb touchdown and it's 10-0 Woodbury. Max James, we were focused on number nine, the DN, and look what happens. He picks one off and takes it for the touchdown. 50 yards on the score, Moundsview's on the board, down 10-7. Ryan Christensen hands it off to Miles Thomas. Short TD run, Woodbury led 16-7, but Moundsview rallies to win. Final score tonight, 29-26. Ela Sal, Holy Angels, Joe Heimbold. Nice move here, and then takes off. 18-yard gain, it led to a touchdown two plays later to make it 7-0 Holy Angels. And then they go to work on this play here. Nice run, uh, nice play by De La Salle, stripping the ball. 25-yard return on that play. Holy Angels, however, winning this game tonight big. Heimbold here for the touchdown pass. 60-6 to was the Holy Angels hosting De La Salle. First quarter, Islanders quarterback Desan Frazier shows off his arm strength. Only problem is the pass is intercepted by Mason Wolf. The Stars would have to punt, but it's muffed by De La Salle's DeAndre Wade. It's recovered by Connor McGarry at the 20. Very next play, Joseph Heimbold rolls to his right, hits Keontae Shorter at the 10. Shorter jukes three defenders, goes in for the score. 7-0 Holy Angels, and the fans are happy. Right before the first quarter expired, Heimbold calls his own number. He finds some room and hits the sideline before he's taken down at the four. He would score a couple plays later, and the Stars root De La Salle 60-6. First quarter, Brendan White rolling out, but under some heavy pressure, Miles Taylor, big sack for the sophomore. Keep an eye on him. Like I said, he's just a sophomore, but he does it all for the Cardinals. Check it out. Taylor trucking in for a seven-yard score. As Coon Rapids comes up with a monster win tonight, 14-12. The final, taking on Chan Hassan first quarter. Tommy Anderson rolls out of the pocket. He's going to launch one deep for John Landry. Great grab along the sideline. But later in the first, Anderson rolling out again. This time, though, the storm all over where Garrett Sapp gets some air for the interception. But the Red Knights would score the only touchdown of the half. I cannot Ujuwagu powering his way in for Pater as BSM wins 26-0.
first quarter, Cameron King connects with a diving Adrian Adams for the score. King having himself quite this season. Cooper up six zip. Then right before the half, Ante Burns, oh baby, busting loose. One of a handful of Hawks getting D1 looks right He's now. Going Montana State. There you go. 52-yard touchdown for Burns as Cooper wins 33 to nothing. Hey, check out some scores here. 21-14, Glencoe Silver Lake over Albany. And then Chaska staying perfect on the season, 26-22. Orno's 2-1 at 3-0 no Chaska. This is the way it's supposed to work. Orno's Nick Prentice to Zane Taylor. He makes a move in the open field, does everything but score a touchdown. Comes close enough to set it up for the Spartans. Bobby Strigo crashes in. Some power for six. We get a good one. Chaska has found ways to win this season. This time, Connor Suba answers the call. He puts six on the board for the Hawks. Chaska 26, Orno 22. Orno on the road at Chaska. Third quarter, Spartans trail 2015. They would eat up a chunk of the clock thanks to their ground game. Bobby Strigo picks up a huge gain as he barrels over the defenders before he's finally taken down at the four. Next play, Strigo will finish what he started. He finds the end zone to put Orno up 22-20. The Hawks wouldn't get their mojo back until eight minutes remained in the game. Connor Suba airs it out for Nolan Hansen. He hauls it in at midfield and gains another 17 yards after the catch to the Spartan 33. Several plays later, the whole line tells Suba, follow them. He does, and he scores. Two-point conversion, no good, but Chaska takes a 26-22 lead. Time winding down. Orno facing fourth and long. Nick Prentice's pass is a bit high, but it goes right through James Buck's hands. Chaska improves to 4-0 with a 26-22 win. Richfield hosting St. Louis Park, second quarter. Quick throw from Caleb Carlison to Anthony Sanders for the score. Richfield, though, trailing 21-7 at this point. And Aaron Sledge, a big reason why. Having a great season for the Orioles. Nine-yard touchdown makes it 28-7. Stretching out for the score. But right before the break, Carlson and company answering back. Emmanuel Blackshear, great grab in traffic. Touchdown. But SLP, the winner tonight, 28-20. We will be right back. Mount West Tonka at Academy Force tonight. Bobby Sweet, 58 yards on his first three carries of the night, and he would set up the drive that Brandon Hokanen to Alex Farwell will finish. This made it 7-0, and the Whitehawks go on to win as we check the final score, 40 to nothing. Delano has a point guard in basketball named Kelvin Wishart. He's a Division I recruit. This year they talked him into coming out for football for the first time. Good decision. Wishart from Mike Schultz, a 44-yard strike and a touchdown against Holy Family. Looks like a natural to me. Tigers took a big lead and never looked back. Holy Family hit with a short yard to score late from Sam Reigert. But it had already been decided. Delano 26, Holy Family 7. Becker and legendary coach Dwight Line Dean up against unbeaten Hutchinson. Becker goes to work early. Their talented sophomore quarterback Josh Phobia. Screen to Sidney Boros. How about that? Couple moves. Gets to the sideline. He does the rest right down the sideline all the way for six. Nice camera work. It was a good one, but Hutchinson kind of took over from there. Nothing fancy. Just run the football with some power and some precision. Josiah Nelson is a key part of that. There he is from short yardage. It's Hutchinson, 31, Becker, 17. In an 8-5A clash, big play here in the second. Jack's down six, fourth and goal at the two. Jacob Beberg, the keeper, and looks like he gets in, but the refs say no, he doesn't break the plane. Spuds take over on downs. Bemidji's defense, though, tightens up right before half, and Ryan Bieberdorf, are you kidding me? Feed in, that's a clean pick. Six-nothing Moorhead at the break. But the Spuds take the ball, opening drive, and march right down the field. Oh, this way, this guy's pretty good. His second score of the night, 14 nothing visitors. Now a three-score game. Jack's trying to get back in it, and Bieber finds his man, Bieberdorf. He gets behind the defense for six, cuts the deficit to a couple scores. But keep an eye on this Spuds team the rest of the season. A good mixture of backs. Riley Shock breaks free along the sidelines. No one will catch him. All more head in this one, 41-21, Bemidji now 2-2. Two two. Pillager hosting United North Central to the second half. Huskies trailing 8-zip when Dylan Loftus rips through the line. Eight, 68 yards to the house. Two-point conversion that would tie the game up. United North Central responds immediately. Quarterback James Clark takes it himself down the sideline. 35 yards to the house. Warriors back up by six. 
Pillager, though, does what they do best. Eli Horn, he takes it this time, 37 yards, breaks a couple tackles. That puts the Huskies up for good. They would go to win this one, 22-14, so a big bounce back game. Beating number one ranked Wobbin, hosting Northern Freeze tonight. Tigers opening drive, Tucker Rowe goes 20 yards to pay dirt. 6-0 home team. They also look pretty good on special teams. Luke DeWolf, he'll field the punt. You just have to watch him go to work. Elude some tacklers all the way to the house for the touchdown. And then a little Tigers defense, the bread and butter of this team, Kyle Schmidt. He steps in front with the pick to set them up with good field position. The very next play, we mentioned this guy Wednesday, Jack DeWolf finds Keanu Yabendith for the pitch and catch touchdown. Nevis, they're still rolling 42-16 the final in that one. War Road, they make the long trip to Cass Lake Bina, and the Panthers light up the scoreboard first. Jared Brown, the old quarterback, sneak from a few yards out. Six nothing early, but the Warriors respond. Dylan Kane, he breaks free on the outside here, all the way down inside the five yard line. That would set this up a few plays later. Spencer Musgrove, you hit the pylon and they give you six. The touchdown Warriors, they're five and zero oh now on the season. 34-14, the winner over Cast Lake Bina. They hosted the eighth-ranked team in Class 1A Otter Tail Central. We start on the defensive side of the ball. It's Scout Strickland with the sack of the Bulldogs quarterback, Nick Van Erp. That'll give him the loss. The Cardinals would find the end zone on this. Josh Lombard pass to Griffin Repster for the score. Otter Tail Central would beat Staples Motley in this one, 28-14.